So I'm going to use this vocal track to show you a new tool that we've built into Sonar Producer Edition called vVocal. And uh, what vVocal is, it uses Roland's Veriphrase technology. Uh, and Cakewalk, we packaged it up in uh, a really cool user interface that integrates directly into Sonar. It allows you to do things like pitch correction. You can either automatically adjust pitch or manually adjust it. Uh, you can also completely rephrase vocals, uh, change their timbre, uh, and do dynamics editing. So to use that, I just simply go into a track. Uh, that contains a vocal part. This also, by the way, works on other monophonic parts like bass lines very well. So if I select a clip here, I can right click and send this into vVocal. You can have as many vVocal clips running in your project as you want. And when I open this up, you'll see immediately uh, vVocal has found all the pitches of the notes that were sung in. So if I, if I just uh, soloed this out so we can hear it. So you get an idea of what the vocal originally sounded like. Um, and the notes here in yellow are the actual pitches being sung. So you can see that the vocalist is pretty much on pitch, but she's kind of got a lot of modulation in her voice. Uh, maybe we want to clean this up a little bit. I can either select individual notes or I can select the entire part. There's some automatic correction features here. You can adjust the sensitivity down here and then just simply hit the correct button and it'll lock those notes closer onto the original note or exactly onto the note that you want. Uh, you can also adjust by scale, so if you know what key your song is in, you can adjust that way. Let me just back out of that. You can also undo everything you do in vVocal. It's non-destructive editing, which is also a very important part of the way it works. Um, but with the individual notes here, I mean, these pitches are more or less on. If I want to adjust uh, the modulation on a part, for example, this last word here has a lot of vibrato on it. Um, if I choose the LFO tool, I can actually get rid of all that modulation or part of it very simply. If you take too much of that modulation out, it's going to start to sound a little robotic. So that's why you, know, you have so many tools in here to go in and kind of uh, tweak the sound exactly the way you want it. Um, you don't want everything to sound completely pl flat and, uh, and too robotic. So. You can go in and do things like rephrasing the actual uh, timing characteristics of the part as well. So I can click on these different points in the waveform and I can drag these anchor points around. Only that, but you have this. So you can hear I stretched out that one word and I left all the other words sort of the same timing. It gives you a very easy way to edit vocals and it's all contained within one easy to use interface that's built into Sonar. Again, this is only with producer edition. Uh, also, I have dynamics control. If I go to the dynamics uh, window here, I can choose the pencil tool and easily draw out peaks and clipping points within that waveform. If I want to boost a section up, I can also do that. And you can see the waveform redrawing as I go. And now that's just integrated into my project. You can see I have a clip here that's yellow, or I'm sorry, orange. Uh, it says vVocal clip on it. Uh, and behind that, Sonar actually works with, uh, with different layers within tracks, so you can keep multiple takes or uh, edit parts together more easily. So I actually have the original vocal take here. So vVocal has saved that for me automatically on the same track. It's just muted out. So I can always get back to that original performance, and uh, it's completely non-destructive. <laughs> 